Hey Libra, I hope y'all are doing well. Uh, this is going to be one of your general July readings. Um, We're going to go ahead and jump right on in here. I just want to let you all know that anything you need uh, should be in the description box. I don't have personals open, so if you're going down there for that, just know that I don't have those open uh, right now. But you can follow me on Patreon. I read for each sign over there as well. Uh, you could follow me on TikTok. I do daily energies over there. Uh, the links are down below. There's also a link to my other channel. Um, I'm going to be posting over there a lot more here very soon. So uh, there's a link to that down below. And any of you who might be interested in learning the tarot, I have a course. You can check out the details on that if that sounds like something that would interest you. Okay? All right. You have the Nine of Swords right in the middle of your reading here. Um, Three of Pentacles as your overall energy. I feel like Spirit's trying to point something out to you. Uh, there's something here that you are not really looking at is how that feels. So we're going to figure out what that is. Some of you, you could have Mars and Capricorn, but you don't have to. I just feel as if there's something, there's some information here and you're not using it basically. Uh, with that three of pentacles showing up, the pentacles aren't yellow like they are in the other cards. Like I just feel as if spirits like, look at this right here. And you're like, yeah, I see it, but you know, I'm not going to do anything with it. Right. I feel like you're not taking action towards something here. Basically Libra, you have the Empress. This is your card as well as Taurus. We're going to see what's going on with it. This can represent a mother uh, or just a feminine energy. You have the emperor out here too, which can represent a father or a masculine energy. Um, but for the most part, empress is like creation, uh, the birth of something new. It can represent pregnancy. What's going on with the empress for Libra? The emperor. Okay. Some of you, there's definitely a, a pregnancy here. What's happening with all this? Why is this showing up? Five of cups. Okay. Hmm. Some of you, this could just be a goal of yours, truly. This could be something that you're trying to that you're trying to make happen here, Libra. You have the King of Cups showing up. Um, if it's not a pregnancy that you're trying to bring to life here, I feel as if uh, this could have something to do with um, a work situation that you're trying to get off the ground. You may want to expect some delays with this, okay? Uh, I think it's going to happen, but I still think that there are delays with this. You have the King of Cups right here. There's a lot more to get done. Um, you know, King of Cups is a very deep energy. It's a Scorpio card. Like there are layers and layers and layers here. There's a lot that you don't see that has to be done still, Libra. It's basically the energy that I feel here with this. Um, so yeah, don't get discouraged here because sometimes the Five of Cups can say that there's so much disappointment or grief or frustration that, you know, you become a little bit uh, attached to the loss of something, basically, which I don't think there's a loss here. I think that's just something that your, your frustration is telling you, but the Emperor is showing up here. So I feel like this is something you should keep pursuing. You have the Ten of Cups showing up. Uh, Mars and Pisces. And for those of you where that is work or business, like I feel like there you may want to get... Uh, how do I explain that there? Again, like I said, I expect some delays, but I also feel as if you may want to go down new paths, try new things with something here. Ten of Cups is a really good card, so we're going to look and see what's happening with that here. What's going on with the Ten of Cups for Libra? Chariot. Cancerian Energy. Six of Swords. Some of you could be moving homes here, okay? Uh, you have the Chariot and the Six of Swords. There could be travel in the month of July for some of you um, or planning to move homes. You have the Devil, Capricorn Energy. Um, why is that showing up? Why is that showing up here? King of Wands. You have that showing up down here as well. <laughs> some of you could be releasing some fears here. Um, or it's possible that these blockages are letting up, but the devil really feels like a fearful energy to me. Um, and that Ten of Cups, like that could be what it is that you're fearful of going for. Some of you, maybe you already have it and the fear is surrounding, like, how do I maintain it? Uh, it could be something like that here. But for others of you, I do feel as if you are having the courage to move towards that Ten of Cups, despite whatever it is that you're feeling here, okay? Um, which, I, again, I feel is fear. And you have the King of, did I say King of Cups, King of Wands? You have the King of Wands down here as well. So for some of you, I do think that this could be, this could have something to do with becoming an entrepreneur, building your own business, possibly. Um, for others of you, you're definitely moving on uh, from a situation that was just not serving you as far as a person goes. This could be a water sign or a Capricorn. You have the Nine of Wands. Somebody could have their moon in Sagittarius here. What's going on with the Nine of Wands? Four of Swords. Some of you could have Jupiter in Libra here. King of Swords, Aquarian Energy. Wish these would focus a little bit faster than what they're doing. And the Five of Swords, Venus in 
Venus and Aquarius here. Lots of air. Lots of air showing up to clarify that Nine of Wands. I think there's lots of tension, truly. Because again, I feel like Spirit's trying to show you something here. You guys have a lot of people underneath that. You have the King of Swords, uh, or the Knight of Swords, the King of Cups. Let's look at that a little bit deeper with the Nine of Wands. Because you've obviously been hurt in a situation here. Uh, where you're trying to wrap something up, struggling to move on from something here. Four of Swords, trying to find clarity, possibly. Yeah, more air with that Justice card, Libra Energy. Five of Pentacles, why somebody left a situation or why they don't care about a situation ending. Uh, could be something like that here. I feel like you keep looking back on it, but Justice showing up is telling you that this is what's meant to happen, okay? This is what, meant, what was meant to happen, even if it's difficult for you. You have the three of pentacles showing up, and I think this is what Spirit's trying to show you that you're not really seeing, you know? Um, you know there are two people involved here, obviously, because it's involving a connection, this specific storyline here with this card. And I think for one person, their lesson is to be truthful, to be honest. And I think that for another person, which feels like you, uh, I think that your lesson could be to... Um, Accept what it is that you know as truth. Accept what it is that's not being said. You know, um, like I think that there was something here where a lot was being told to you without actually being told to you. It's weird. Um, so I think that's what's going on here. I think Spirit's wanting you to trust your intuition more here, basically. Okay, not waiting around on clarity in order to move you forward. Um, and I think for this other person, it has a lot to do with uh, speaking up on things, not letting the moment pass them by. You have the Five of Wands, Saturn and Leo. Three of Cups. Four of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles. Okay. If you've been struggling financially here, Libra, I feel like there's going to be some kind of assistance or this could be someone that you're connected with. Like if you have roommates here, like a roommate could be getting some kind of help here that's helping the both of you. There's something like that going on here where I feel like there's conflict in a situation and you're being shown a way around some kind of issue, some kind of obstacle here, basically. Three of Cups, though, I feel like in July there's something to celebrate here and it does involve money. There could be a pay raise uh, or a promotion, something like that going on here. Somebody good could be promoted. Um, you know, like I feel as if you're taking someone's position here or someone you know is taking a boss's position. Um, but yeah, four pinnacles, you could be in a, in a space where you are scraping money, uh, or scraping pennies here. You know, money is unpredictable or unsteady. Um, a lot of people are going through that right now. Five of wands, it could be creating a lot of tension, conflict in your environment. But I do think that things could be turning around for you. The four and the two is the six. I think you could be getting some kind of help. Okay. Possibly from a community, just helping one another out, lifting one another up real village type energy. If I'm being honest, you have the nine of swords here, Mars and Gemini. What's going on? with the nine of swords for libra two of cups somebody could have venus and cancer here eight of swords and the ace of pentacles I feel like you're caught up on the potential of something here. Two of Cups typically represents a connection. So it seems like you go back and forth, like trying to heal from something. The good news is that you're on the path to healing. Like it's over, it's done. But you have the Eight of Cups showing up here. Yeah, you've already walked away from it, but I still feel as if with the Eight of Swords energy, you're caught up on the Ace of Pentacles, on what it could have been. Because there was obviously a lot of uh, emotion here, a lot of attraction, but there wasn't a lot of effort. So I think that's why things had to come to an end. Um, things were just too wishy-washy here. Or somebody had a lot going on financially um, or just within their home environment but I do feel as if you could be wondering about this it's stressing you out for some reason but I do feel like that's that's going to pass okay you have the emperor showing up here Aries energy what's going on with the emperor okay so we have the lover showing up Gemini energy we have the three of wands sun and Aries I'm telling you guys some of you are definitely going to be promoted to a higher position at work here like you're the main person uh, is how this feels. You have the three of swords, Saturn, and be careful. Be careful with work relationships here, okay? Because I feel like that could be, um, yeah, you have creation. And uh, you have three threes showing up here, uh, which represent creation and expression. I feel like the way that you are coming off to someone, to someone in a higher position than you, 
is benefiting you on some level. I feel like you're being evaluated is, is what I'm trying to spit out here. The three of wands showing up. I feel like there is, this emperor is evaluating people. I think you are about to become an emperor here, but I feel like it could cause issues within the workplace, like conflict within the workplace. I feel you in this really, I'm not here to make friends kind of energy in the month of July. But be careful of what it is that you're saying to folks. Like, if you're wondering if you're being evaluated, being watched for a certain position, you are, okay? You are. And I think there could be a decision being made on that and expressed to you in the month of July. You have the King of Wands, Leo Energy. For others of you, I do think that there are already issues at work and you're going to pursue self-employment. That's why the King of Wands is showing up here. Uh, the Hangman. The Five of Wands. Be prepared for some delays with that, which I think I already said that. And then you have the Page of Cups showing up here. But there is going to be a breakthrough with it. You're going to find some delays with it. It's going to be more to it than you thought there was. But there is some good news coming with it. I promise. Okay? You have the Page of Cups right here. It's good news. All right? You got the uh, High Priestess. Be mindful of comparisons as well. Sometimes, you know, this man is standing up here on a bench. Sometimes this can talk about, you know, feeling as if others are above you or maybe feeling as if, you know, you're above others here in a situation. I feel as if, you know, there's that kind of energy of comparison. You want to be careful with that uh, in the month of July as well. I feel like it could really put a damper on something. Uh, High Priestess, though, let's look at it. Three of Pentacles. The Hermit. And the World. Fixed energy, also Capricorn. Oh, excuse me, you guys. Yeah, I think that, you know, the High Priestess, uh, she can represent your intuition sometimes, which uh, we already talked about that, you know. Uh, Spirit's trying to show you something here, trying to shine a light on something and be like, listen, you already have the clarity. Your intuition already told you what this was. It's time to move forward. Like, that's part of your lesson here. For others of you, though, uh, I do think that, you know, the High Priestess is representing a secret. Keep it to yourself. Uh, whatever's going on at work here. You know, there's something going on at work. It feels positive, though, okay? It feels positive. Like, if there's some kind of negative experience, I'm not saying, like, don't report that. No, I'm saying that if you're getting some kind of promotion or pay raise or something of that nature... I feel like it's best to keep that to yourself. At this point in time, there could be a Virgo or a Pisces uh, or a fixed sign here. Um, who wants that position? Who wants that spot? Not that they could handle it, right? Seven of Pentacles. Not that they could handle it. Um, that's interesting. Two of Swords, Moon, and Libra. Yeah, it's somebody that you may not expect, okay? Or it's like you may not expect an attempt to double-cross here or to try to... Um, you know, make things harder in terms of you getting some kind of position or question it, question your capabilities or question how fair it is. Uh, you may not expect them to to do that, okay? Uh, because for a lot of you, I think it's, it's more than one person here. Um, but absolutely keep it to yourself here, all right? Keep it to yourself. Uh, you have the Four of Wands, Venus and Aries. What's going on with the Four of Wands in July? Ten of Swords, Sun and Gemini. Strength. Mm -hmm. I like that. And the star. Like I said, you're on the path to healing here, Libra. Like, that's really good news. Really positive news. Some of you guys, like, you just felt kind of shot down in a situation. But I feel like you're getting back up. Uh, and this is not in regards to a relationship. Obviously, you're healing from a relationship or connection that ended here. <clears throat> Excuse me. But for some of you, I feel as if something could have failed. And I think that could be why you're in Five of Cups. That's why you're in Ten of Swords. It's like, it's just heartbreaking that something didn't come through, you know? But you have the Strength card showing up here as well. Um, I feel like you're in a really powerful position to try and do this again. Some of you, this could be something that failed a long time ago. And you're reflecting on it and you're like, I really wish that worked out. Well, maybe it's time. Maybe this is coming back up, resurfacing, so you can go for that again, okay? Because you have this star here, it's asking you to keep hope, to keep faith, okay? Because your wishes are going to be fulfilled. You just have to be patient, okay? You have to be patient, all right? Uh, that's what I'm seeing here for you, Libra. I do hope it was helpful. Um, you guys are more than welcome to watch out for your other signs as well. What else? What else? Um, don't forget that I read over on TikTok and Patreon if you guys want to follow me over there. I also have a tarot course for anyone who's interested in learning. And of course, my other channel, if you all want to check that out, the link is down below. I'll be posting over there again very soon. If this is where we part, Libra, thank you for watching and supporting me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.